Hello there, my name is Michael Carroll. I'm the founder and the course director of the NLP Academy. I'm also the business partner of John Grinder and Carmen Bostic Sinclair. Uh, the purpose of this video is to present to you and the NLP community a situation, well an event, uh, that happened in 2019 in the NLP community, which is by default an ongoing event. You'll see why when I get into the presentation. We believe this event, which I'm about to share with you, uh, and the people involved, the event is unethical, uh, and the people involved, unfortunately, have behaved really in an unethical manner in their treatment of both John Grinder and Richard Bandler, the co-creators of NLP. Let's have a look at who's involved before we get into what actually happened. ANLP International, which has set itself up as a kind of association stroke regulatory body in NLP, when in essence it's a private limited company, uh, primarily owned by Karen Faulkner. The International NLP Conference, owned by Karen Faulkner. The ANLP Awards, a subsidiary of the International NLP Conference, owned by Karen Faulkner. Robert Dilts, and of course, the actions towards John Grinder and Richard Bandler. You see, since 2017, the ANLP have run an annual award ceremony with the intention or the advertised intention of recognizing key people in NLP for their contributions to NLP. These awards have always been controversial. I won't go into that right now because what happened in the 2019 awards is the controversy that I want to focus on because it directly affects John Grinder and Richard Bandler and also everybody who took part unknowingly in the awards ceremony itself. So firstly, let's have a look at the 2019 awards, the categories, the winners, uh, and then we'll get into the part about John Grinder and Richard Bandler. So here you have it, 2019 awards. Here we are on the website of the a and of the awards ceremony. This website is still live and active. So you have the NLP in Research Reward, you have the NLP in Education Reward, you have, have the NLP in Healthcare Award, you have the NLP in Public Service and Community Award, and this is the Controversial Award, a special award for a lifetime of service to NLP, to Richard Bandler and John Grinder. So there you see Robert Diltz and Karen Faulkner on stage holding the awards, a lifetime of service award to Richard Bandler and John Grinder. You can see they're all smiles, looking good for the camera, uh, smiling away, looking very smart. Um, and here's what the ANLP says about these awards as an acknowledgement for their lifetime of services to NLP. The ANLP awarded Richard Bandler and John Grinder with an award at the 2019 NLP Awards Gala Dinner. This was accepted on their behalf by Robert Dilt. The key part of this, which is interesting, it says as an acknowledgement for their lifetime of services, and that John Grinder and Richard Bandler were awarded. The truth is, there was no award to John Grinder or Richard Bandler. Think about this. Neither John Grinder or Richard Bandler were informed of these awards prior to them being issued. They were not given an opportunity to accept or reject the awards, and on the basis either of them did accept, they were not given the opportunity to choose who would stand on the stage and accept a lifetime of services award on their behalf. This is a lifetime of services award. This is not your local tiddlywinks contest. This is a lifetime of services award or it claims to be a lifetime of services award. Reality, in reality, it was a show to make this whole glamorous 
ANLP award ceremony look legitimate in the pretense that the ANLP was actually recognising John Grinder and Richard Bandler when they didn't and far from it and never really have. So who gave Robert Dilts the right that night to stand on stage and accept these awards on behalf of John Grinder and Richard Bandler? Because I can tell you here, Robert Dilts would be the last man John Grinder would choose on his behalf to accept anything. And the fact that to this day, Robert Dilts has not contacted John Grinder, and he knows how to, to say, hey John, I accepted an award on your behalf. He hasn't done it. John would be oblivious to this had I not found out when doing a bit of research. To the best of my knowledge, uh, Robert Dilts hasn't contacted Richard Bandler either, uh, but you'll have to confirm that with Richard Bandler's representatives. But I know for sure John Grinder was not informed before or after this award. Here's John Grinder, co-creator of NLP's statement. The NLP, with its self-appointed pseudo-regularity stance, has engaged in deeply misleading and unethical practices in its attempts to position itself in the marketplace. I ask you to consider whether you really want to do business with people such as Karen Faulkner, Robert Diltz and the ANLP, and how you reconcile such unethical behaviours and business practices with a commitment to modern excellence on which this field of NLP was founded. That's what John said. So now let's have a look at the ANLP site to put this into a broader context. What I'm about to read is on the ANLP homepage under a heading, Why the ANLP? We empower our members to run credible and professional practices by giving them an ethical framework and professional platform. You can work with an ANLP professional, safe in the knowledge that their certification has been checked and they work within the code of ethics for their profession. Has the ANLP worked and acted within their own code of ethics in misleading the public regarding these awards to John Grinder and Richard Bandler? Let's have a look at the ANLP values as stated on their website, ethical, professional, integrity, independent and informed and credible. Ask yourself, have the ANLP and Karen Faulkner behaved in accordance with their own stated values regarding ethics, professionalism, informing the public, and credibility. Now the challenge here is, it's not just about the credibility of the ANLP or the credibility of Robert Diltz that's at stake here. Robert Diltz has risen to a highly senior position in NLP, uh, based on the fact he was in the right place at the right time in 1975. He did work with John Grinder and Richard Bandler, and since has made a very good living in the field of NLP. Karen Faulkner and the ANLP have set themselves up as a kind of regulatory body in the UK without the authority of John Grinder, or Richard Bandler, but these people have the attention of the NLP community and both are or were respected individuals and organisations. What the ANLP have done and what Robert Diltz have done, they not only have let themselves down, they not only have let, they let down the organisations they claim to represent, they've let down you and they've let down the field of NLP. They've tarnished the reputation of NLP and they both have behaved with total disrespect to John Grinder and Richard Bandler, the co-creators of NLP, both who deserve better. Thank you very much for watching this video.